starts now. Good afternoon, I'm Nate Myhock, and thank you for joining us on Up North at Four. Today we'll chat about the restorative justice program in Marathon County. Plus, we'll recap that insane Bucks game from last night, and we'll also find out how Jeff Weller is inspiring the Greek freak. We'll get to all that in a bit, but first, here's your top four at four. If you've ever had a family pet, it's likely that at some point you made a joke about your dog or your cat getting a job and helping out around the house. Well, apparently one dog in California took that to heart. The police department in Truckee introduced Captain Mugshot, or Mugs as they call him, as their newest member. They say that Mugs will be a community support canine, so he'll be sort of a four-legged liaison for their police department. Receiving a card on your birthday is sort of a nice reminder that you have people in your corner. And for one man in Rhode Island, he's now realizing that thousands of people have his back. Victor Butler is believed to be one of the last surviving members of the Tuskegee Airmen, and he is turning 100 later this month. So to celebrate, he asked for birthday cards, and people have come through in a very big way. His family estimates that about 12,000 cards have been sent so far. It's not a bad gift for hitting the century mark. And there really must be something in the water in Rhode Island. Not only are they sending birthday cards by the thousands, people there are also leaving massive tips for their servers. A woman at a pizza restaurant was stunned to find out that a couple had left her an $810 tip on a $48 order. It was after a chat about her struggles to provide for her only child. And the craziest part is that she never caught the couple's name or any information about them. There's an old saying about running late for your own funeral, and apparently that can also be the case for your own wedding. As that happened to a couple in California, as the groom got stuck in an elevator for over an hour. The bride said she was worried that her future husband had gotten cold feet, but actually him and his groomsmen were just trapped. In the end, they still got married and will have a very fun story to tell, I'm sure. And meteorologist Conrad Sapinski joins us now live in studio on a potentially record-breaking day. Conrad, what can you tell us? Yes, record-breaking day indeed. We actually just broke our record officially 91 degrees here in Rhinelander. Our previous record high temperature for today was exactly 90 degrees in 1977. But with those warmer temperatures, chances of thunderstorms are possible, especially some severe thunderstorms popping up here and there. We just had a severe thunderstorm warning in Langlide, but overall this is moving out and is starting to go into Lake Michigan. But overall, look at this line right over here. It is about to be incoming by the Rhinelander area, so prepare for heavy rain and some lightning and thunder, maybe even a possibility of some hail here in Rhinelander and into tonight as well. Look at all of this. Lots of storms are starting to pop up in Minnesota, in uh, South Dakota. A lot of these are popping up because a lot of uh, stable air out there, warmer temperatures, that is fuel for the fire. And that is blowing up those thunderstorms and it will continue to blow them up the next couple of days. So tomorrow we have more chances of thunderstorms and Saturday as well before we finally start to clear out by Sunday time frame. But for tonight, we have some slight chances of severe weather, but slight does not mean none. That is a good chance that we will get some hail, some heavy rain, and really gusty winds out there. And of course, there's always that possibility of a tornado. With all those warmer temperatures out there, look at this. 80s and 90s all across the region. Just two weeks ago, we had snow in 30s, and now finally, record-breaking heat has made it into our area. So it's nice and pleasant outside, but that is the fuel for all of those storms. But overall, look at this temperature trend. Really warm temperatures out there for tomorrow once again. Then we start to cool off by Saturday and Sunday, and next week, we are back in the uh, near average to slightly below average temperatures in the 60s, so no more 80s for us for now. But overall, by tonight, we'll continue to drop into the mid 60s. We'll have more coming up at 5. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Kitchen Bath Mart. Mel's Trading Post, a downtown Rhinelander landmark locally owned for over 70 years. Get your spring and summer sporting goods with ease from our experienced staff and get expert advice. Come down and see our great selection. Open seven days a week for your convenience. 
I'm Sarah Godlewski. I'm at the Supreme Court where it looks like Ron Johnson is going to get exactly what he wants. Overturning Roe v. Wade, reinstating Wisconsin's cruel abortion ban, and putting doctors in jail. But that's not what Wisconsinites want. We don't want politicians making health care choices for women. I'm Sarah Godlewski, and I approve this message because as your senator, I will never sit by and allow our rights to be stripped away. Join me. Let's fight back and defeat Ron Johnson. At Garden Path Greenhouse, you'll find hundreds of varieties of gorgeous, locally grown plants, common favorites, and rare species. Garden Path Greenhouse is in full bloom. Come see us today for the best selection. Garden Path Greenhouse, just west of US 51 off Double N Wausau. Roof warranties are all about trust. Your trust in GAF, a time-tested company, and our trust in our master elite contractors. They're trained, licensed, insured, and only they can offer our best warranties. Call Oneida Roofing today. This doctor is dead. Opioid overdose. We have a real opportunity. Take down the drug company. The rapist was smart enough to confess to a priest. He has committed to reveal a confession. He's gonna rape again. There is something I need you to know. They ordered a hit. On who? Detective Stabler. Professional hitman. This week on Jeopardy, she wrote a book that was turned into a TV show. Well, I definitely thought that was the coolest thing that would ever happen in my life. But then this happened. Get the story behind her story and find out why Matt is hoping for a sports category. Everything from baseball, basketball, the darts world championship, and Japanese sumo wrestling. But what about bodybuilding? It's a pleasure for me to be known more for my brains <laughs> than for my muscles. I'm still a Jeopardy, baby, this week. Weekdays at 4.30, brought to you locally by North Star Mohican Casino Resort. Mel's Trading Post, a downtown Rhinelander landmark locally owned for over 70 years. Get your spring and summer sporting goods with ease from our experienced staff and get expert advice. Come down and see our great selection. Open seven days a week for your convenience. Welcome back here to Up North at 4. Paula Schultz, Kevin uh, Officer Kevin Cornell joining me now to talk about the Restorative Justice Program, which is a program in part uh, with goodwill of north central wisconsin and obviously in marathon county as well but i think we just need to start by the broad strokes here can you tell us a little bit about what this program is all about sure. and what the goal is sure marathon county restorative justice um, is a program that we offer for our youth so if they make a poor choice mm -hmm. or um, get in trouble with the law in some fashion um, they may have the opportunity to be referred to our program where they can have uh, direct a repair plan with the victim, the people that they harmed. Um, so they're taking full accountability for that. Um, and that gives them the opportunity to, to try to make things right. Mm -hmm. And I mean, really the goal is to sort of help kids like learn, you know, like there are consequences to your actions. You know, there are things that sometimes we all make mistakes. I was young at one point in life. I, I was an idiot. I'm still an idiot. I've done stupid things, but it's just a way of saying we can learn from this. Is that kind of a way that you guys approach it as a learning experience? Is that fair to say? Absolutely. Yeah. And then obviously, Kevin, you uh, with the police department down there in Wausau, uh, you guys are also working sort of in conjunction with this to, to some capacity. Uh, what is this like then for you to be able to help these kids you know I don't know if it's one-on-one -on -one per se but just sort of at least have those discussions with them and say that wasn't right here's how we can make things better well, absolutely and it's a really good opportunity as you said to have them take ownership and to um, work through the program and make amends with the mm -hmm. people that they've wronged and even make restitution um, by earning money through goodwill right mm -hmm. and how, how long has this program been uh, going on here in Marathon County, we're approaching 20 years. Oh, so it's been like a, quite a few, yeah. almost like two decades now. So obviously it's been a long time coming. What sort of benefits have you two seen from, you know, helping kids sort of, I, I don't know if rehabilitate themselves is the right word, but mm -hmm. just sort of make right a wrong, so to say. One of the things I notice is when they have community work mm -hmm. to, to do, whether it just be community work or they're in our restitution project where they're earning funds to pay back their victim, um, is they're given a great opportunity to learn job skills at an early age um, by working in the mm -hmm. Goodwill setting um, so they can carry that over into their future, um, whether it be job applications when they're old enough or um, college, college applications and things totally. of that nature. Yeah. 
And have you have you noticed that at all? Like kids have come back and say like, hey, this actually in the long run really helped me. If so, what is that sort of like to just kind of get that feedback from kids or from families? Um, one of the things that I have seen is people may come into our program to do their community work, like I was mm -hmm. mentioning, and then actually afterwards saying, I really enjoyed being here, and we've hired them on as really? a regular employee. Mm -hmm. wow. so, so, I mean, yeah, there are benefits not only for them, but also in a way for you guys as well. Is that yes, kind of the case? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Awesome. And most kids, once they go through the program, don't reoffend. I've had kids finish and ask, could I do that again? And I explain to them, well, we, this is usually a one-time mm -hmm. deal, but if you want to volunteer, absolutely. Yeah. So, so, so it's one of those things kids, like, they get a little little taste of them, like, actually, yep. I kind of enjoy this. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's kind of it's sort of funny how that sort of comes all all full, full circle, um, but I think the thing that really sticks out to me in in our conversations before the show is just that it, it's a it's a great way to sort of help kids who maybe need a little bit of guidance or just sort of need like a lending hand. And uh, what is that like then for you guys to at least sort of provide that for for kids and within your own community? Um, I think it's a great benefit. Um, traditionally, without a program of this nature, they're issued a citation, and that citation may be paid by a parent or maybe even by the, mm -hmm. the child. Um, but that's it. That's the end of the. That's the end of the incident. Right. This way, it pulls in um, the victim, where the victim has a say. Like I would like to see that student come back and do community work by mm -hmm. raking or by serving the elderly. It gives them a voice in um, holding that offender accountable. Yeah, and Kevin, I can imagine that maybe is a little less of a burden than for you. Like, I don't have to write up a 10-year-old child or something, how we can kind of help them to make it better. Is that yeah. sort of the case? Well, there's that. I mean, there's still some paperwork involved, but mm -hmm. just seeing that the kids grow and learn from the experience. I've had uh, an incident where two kids got into a fight, a um, pretty good physical fight, and they sorted it through and figured out, after working with Paula, that the issue at hand wasn't re even really there, and they actually be got to become friends. Oh, wow, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I've, there's always paperwork involved, but at least for you, there was a good, nice resolve to yes, this one. I'd rather see that. Yeah, uh, of course. And for you guys, too, I, what sort of feedback have you gotten then from parents or from family members to say, like, hey, we appreciate you, you know, being able to help our kids here mm -hmm. get on the right path? Has, has anyone reached out to say that at all? Well, I do recall one incident. <laughs> well, I, I had a parent say that... Uh, she had her child in counseling for a number of years mm -hmm. and said that in the time that their child worked with Paula, they saw a, a large breakthrough. Mm -hmm. So for them, that was pretty significant. Totally. So Paula, last question I'll have for you. Uh, if anyone has more questions about the program or they're just interested in learning more, how could they reach out to you? I think we have uh, your contact info, if we can pull that up here. Absolutely. Uh, should they just... just reach out and talk to they you? They can reach out to me. Um, I, I'd be happy to answer any questions I can. And, you know, the financial support for our program comes from Goodwill. Mm -hmm. So whenever you shop or even donate there, um, you're supporting programs like ours. So please feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy to talk to anybody about starting a program in your community. Um, of this nature. Sounds great. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I know you were nervous, but we got through it. So thank you so much. We'll be right back here on Up North at 4. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Furniture and Appliance Mart. At Cost Cutters, we got style. Whatever your style, we've got it right here. Save big this month at Cost Cutters. Buy one, get one half off on Paul Mitchell and Matrix Professional Products this month. I just scratch my head over these career politicians. They get in there and they, they, they just never want to leave. I'm going to give this my all for four years, work very hard. I'm going to do it for the greater good of all the people of Wisconsin not the special interest. I think the lobbyists are not gonna like me at all. They're gonna be very frustrated. I'm not beholden to them. Didn't take any money from them, won't take any money from them. I'm gonna do what's right for all the people of Wisconsin. Jim Michaels for governor. Did you know a vented dirt crawl space is unhealthy for you and your home? Did you know it makes your home harder to heat and cool? A vented dirt crawl space is a breeding ground for mold and critters, and it affects the air quality of your entire home. Let SureDry protect your home. When it comes to crawl spaces, nobody does it better. 
SureDry will transform your crawl space into a dry, usable space to make your entire home healthier. Call SureDry today. Sometimes life can get pretty busy in an active household. So that's why Menards makes things just a little bit easier for you. Start a door design and choose a style that's right for you and everything else you look for in a quality door. Mastercraft offers fast, free delivery on personalized doors to any Menard store. Use our door designer on Menards.com to get your door your way. Mastercraft Doors, 11% off at Menards. My knee pain was to the point where I didn't want to walk. I couldn't sleep at night because it was so uncomfortable. I couldn't do the things that I loved anymore. I had not heard of laser therapy before coming here. The relief you felt when you walked out the front door was like, oh, okay, when do I get to go back again? Because the initial pain, pain that I felt in the beginning, it's completely gone. It meant so much to know that someone else cared. And I can't thank them enough for giving me my life back. Love your career. Cost Cutters will support you in achieving your career goals. With competitive wages, great benefits, and up to a $2,250 sign-on bonus. Stop in or visit costcutters.com to find your nearest location. Welcome back here to Up North at 4. And Conrad, we were just talking during the break. Uh, you're a basketball fan. You yes. know the story mm -hmm. of Giannis Antetokounmpo. Yep. Everybody kind of knows the story of Giannis. And for years as Bucks fans, we were always saying, somebody needs to make Giannis's life story <laughs> into a movie. And Ooh. that is actually official. It is coming out. Disney released a trailer for the new movie. They're calling it Rise. It just covers the story of Giannis and his brothers as they grew up in Greece. They faced racism as a family full of immigrants from Nigeria. The brothers then discovering basketball, coming to Milwaukee, winning a championship. Conrad, I'm thinking we do an up north at four viewing party for this movie when it comes out. Are you down for that? Yeah, I'm 100% down. Is it kind of like a Space Jam with Jordan and LeBron? I don't know if they're going to the think? Space Jam. I think they're going for like a little family friendly. Okay. I would love to see Giannis in Space yes. Jam 3. They mm -hmm. wouldn't need to do like the CGI stretching in the arm because <laughs> he could probably do it. Huge arms. Oh. It's, he's nuts. <laughs> and there's a lot going on mm -hmm. for the freak right now. Obviously, playoffs, new movie, new mural. In, uh, in Milwaukee. I don't know okay. if you've seen this. We're I've finally been. starting to see the pictures coming out. Cool. Uh, he'll be forever more immortalized on this wall. Coming from Mauricio Ramirez, who is the artist. They'll have the un uh, official unveiling tomorrow afternoon before their game six against the Boston Celtics. What's really cool about this, Conrad, is I don't know if you knew this. Mm -hmm. That mural that we just showed you, of you honest, actually inspired by a mural we have here at the oh. office. Did you know Which that? No. Oh, no, okay. it's this one. We got a picture of it right now. The one we have of Jeff <laughs> on the logo. He had That's a commission so a while back and was like, I'm the logo. I should be the face of Newswatch 12. And I was like, Jeff, that seems like a little much, but he insisted. So I thought, all right, whatever. I like you it. Know, obviously, you can see the influences. No, I'm Great just kidding. <laughs> I, it's, it's me to make fun of Jeff when he's not here. But you were mentioning, though, you didn't mm -hmm. catch the game last night. I did against, not, no. Against so Boston. I don't even know who won. Let's hear it. You're in for a doozy. Dun, 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 dun. Right. Huge game last night mm -hmm. in Boston for the, for the Bucks against the Celtics. Game five. Let's take a look here at some of these highlights. At this point in my night, I was making some dinner with my wife, and it was going well. I was feeling good. Couldn't even really keep my eyes on the TV. Otherwise, I would have lost a thumb chopping potatoes. You sort of know how that goes. Uh, but the Bucks started off really well, looking good. I felt confident, but Boston would just come back open up a huge lead. I felt like I was going to be sick to my stomach after dinner. But you'll find out, actually, my wife, who, not that big of a sports fan, was screaming at the TV by the end of this game, especially <laughs> once Giannis hit this big three-pointer to bring him within three. A little later on in the final seconds, Bobby Portis, everyone loves Bobby Portis, he hit a massive, massive shot, a putback off of a missed free throw. She, my wife told me she confessed her love for Bobby Portis last night. I don't blame her. I love Bobby Portis as well. But somehow, despite this crazy, crazy night, the Bucks would win. They now have a 3-2 wow. series lead. They play tomorrow night. A chance to win the series on home court. Conrad, I'm going to put you on the spot. Any predictions? Yes. Yeah, so easy dub by the Bucks next game. Love that. Calling Bucks, it right now. Bucks in six. We are going <laughs> to yes, hold you Bucks to that, six. Conrad. They Thank got you. the momentum now. So I love I love to hear that. We're going to convert you to a Bucks fan. <laughs> Zoe. Right. We got chat though in a little bit. We'll be right back here after the break on Up North at 4. This ain't about the donor class with their name on trucks. You're the establishment. 
Man, they failed us for decades. This is about the ones who work for a living. Just worry about safe streets and buying groceries. Warrior conservatives. This is about Kevin Nicholson, one of us. The Marine who never forgot how to fight. It's in his gut. Conservatives, rise up. We have a leader. Visit Wildberry Market, the premier natural food store in the Northwoods, for all of your organic food and health needs. Grab a healthy lunch on the go, made fresh daily by our deli. Eat well, live well, be well. Wildberry Market in Minocqua and online. Backyard a battleground? Mosquito Squad can help defend against disease carrying mosquitoes and ticks. Call 877 Mo Squad to take back your yard. Powerhouse Lawn and Leisure is your Arctic Spa dealer. Made in Canada, Arctic Spas are the best cold weather spas in the world. Ask about Spa Boy, our automated saltwater system. That's Arctic Spas at Powerhouse Lawn and Leisure in Merrill. Spring is the season of rejuvenation and the perfect time to revitalize your home with replacement windows from Renewal by Anderson. Our spring savings event is only once a year. Call the number below now to schedule your free window diagnosis and take advantage of this incredible limited time offer. Now is the time to say goodbye to high maintenance and inefficiencies and say hello to our beautiful replacement windows. Our windows are custom built in America made with exclusive composite fibrex material, are low maintenance, and won't warp or bow like vinyl does. And when combined with the best people in the industry and a superior process, you get Renewal by Anderson's signature service. A unique start to finish process skillfully guided by our industry experts so you can feel confident in your decisions and more comfortable in your home. Our spring savings event won't last long. Don't miss out on this incredible offer. Call now before it expires. Renewal by Anderson, the better way to a better window. Welcome to Patchouli Garden in Park Falls. We love authentic Indonesian patchouli and we specialize in our original custom blends. Everything with the Patchouli Garden name on it, we make right here in our store. Visit Patchouli Garden in the store or online. And welcome on back. Conrad, you weren't here last summer, but for the viewers at home, they might remember last summer that Dan and Jeff tried their hand at growing plants mm. at the Northwoods Community Garden, and we would soon find out that neither of them were really good green thumbs. I think that's probably fair to say. They did try their best, though. I can't fault them. However, they were recently shown up by a few researchers in Florida. They're using lunar soil from Apollo 11. That's the one that went to the moon to see if anything can grow in moon dirt. Turns out the seeds did sprout, but did not grow. Likely better, though, than I can do here on Earth with my own. So I don't know if you can raise plants. <laughs> yeah, I, I like that, though. You got to experiment, see if maybe there's a possibility of life Do you have any outside, plants at home? So. Can, you, can you keep them alive? I could definitely keep them alive, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you, uh, okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll just see this summer. Plants. I'll just yeah. see this summer at the Northwoods. <laughs> exactly. We're trying to see if we can set that up. So, Conrad, we'll do that. we're going to chat about weather here in just mm -hmm. a mo few moments. We'll be right back in our part the floor. I was out here all day yesterday and didn't get a bite. Got my bait at the other guy's shop. Where'd you get yours? Kurtz Island Sports Shop, of course. Kurtz Island Sports Shop, downtown Manaqua. Northland Basement Systems is the all-things basementy company. Basement waterproofing, basement finishing, basement structural repair, humidity and mold control, and nasty crawl spaces too. When it comes to basement solutions, nobody does it better than we do. Since 1991, homeowners just like you in the Northland have trusted Northland Basement Systems for all things basementy in their homes. Call Northland Basement Systems today to schedule a free home evaluation. With Cellcom, new and existing customers get the same great deals, both fair and clear. What's not clear is how to navigate a roundabout. Wait for it. Now? I'm going now. <gasps> I'm trying. OK, breathe and go. We're in. <gasps> Navigating roundabouts? Unclear. Getting the same great deals whether you're a new or existing customer? Crystal clear. Cellcom, clarity in a cloudy world. Now how do we get out? I'm getting dizzy. 
summer's here, and it's time to refresh your space, indoor or out. Get an incredible 25% off Slumberland low prices during our huge memorial sale at Slumberland. Explore our comfortable living rooms, bedrooms, dining rooms, patio, and more. Pay no interest for five years and get free doorstep shipping. Are you sleeping in pain but dread mattress shopping? Come to Slumberland, where each bed is rated for back support and softness. It takes all the guesswork out of finding your perfect bed. This doctor is dead. Opioid overdose. We have a real opportunity. Take down the drug company. The rapist was smart enough to confess to a priest. He has committed to reveal a confession. He's going to rape again. There is something I need you to know. They ordered a hit. On who? Detective Stabler. Professional hitman. All right, so it looks like rain is coming. You yes. literally just had to run outside and put your car windows up. Yeah, I had them roll down a little bit because it was so hot, but I knew there's going to be lines coming in. Had my keys ready, but look at the radar right now, guys. We have some uh, thunderstorms moving on in. Uh, we are actually under a severe thunderstorm warning, so these storms will continue to pop up all throughout the day today and into the overnight hours. So be careful out there because there's lots of lightning, lots of rain and really gusty winds out there. But overall, temperatures are looking really good out there. We broke a record today of 91 degrees. So it was hot today. It was hot. Maybe yes. a little too hot for mid-May in my exactly. opinion, but I'll take that over the 30s any day. So thank you, Absolutely. Conrad. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow on Up North at 4. And all I can do